Welcome back trainers and in this video it's going to be all about Mega Beedrill. This is going to be the first time I actually Mega Evolve my own Beedrill here so I'm pretty excited to actually do it for this event like I actually stated when we were going over this uh, maybe like a week ago so here we go. But before we do let's take a look at the CP. Look at this one 8,678. It's a bug obviously and there's going to be another bug. We're going to be taking a look at Mega Beedrill going up against an Absol raid and the damage is exponentially just nuts. You're going to see it just go through it. Now, the specific Beedrill that I'm going to be evolving here into its mega form is going to have a legacy quick move, which is going to be Bug Bite doing a massive amount of damage. And it's great. So I really enjoy the fact that when you do mega evolve any Beedrill at any CP, it is going to be level 44 no matter what. If you have a level 100 or sorry, if you have a 100% IV, then you're going to be able to get a little bit of a, you know, better CP boost. It's going to be like max is uh, 3,554 or something like that. We're also going to be taking the Mega Beedrill up against all of the rocket leaders, Cliff Sierra and Arlo. So that's going to be fun. The most difficult one was going to be Sierra. So I'm going to be uh, excited to show you guys that. But before we hop into that, let's go ahead and see what's going to be going down in this Absol raid here. Now, apparently, I don't know 100% the details on this. Maybe you guys could let me know in the comments. I haven't really looked it up. But there is some sort of bug in where the Mega Pokemon are getting an even massive boost than usual. Bigger boost than usual. We're talking like an 85% or something like that. If they all have the same moves. I saw it from Trainer Tips really quick. I saw his thing pop up. I watched it really quick and I was like, you can't. I, I recorded this before it happened and apparently everything's lining up except for the fact that I don't have this Beedrill at Best Buddy or I haven't even equipped it as my buddy. So I don't even know if I'm going to be getting it. But nonetheless, it is just absolutely demolishing this. People were asking me, can you solo Absol? Can you please do a demonstration? Uh, and well, here you go. And if you're thinking, well, okay, well, can we do it without Mega Beedrill? Oh, yeah. Just throwing, you know, some fighters. You have your Machamps, you have your Conkeladors, and of course the best fighter currently, Lucario. So as you can see, the Beedrill was able to take it down so low. That's so awesome. Doing a ton of damage. So Mega Beedrill is on point. This thing is amazing. I love it. Especially happy because I do have that legacy. And then Lucario is going to go in here and uh, finish up the job for it. So great. Yes, you can absolutely solo Absol if you need to. It has been bumped down to a tier 3, so it's not even as difficult as before. Alright, now with that said, let's go ahead and hop into these Rocket Leader battles using Mega Beedrill. Now, I'm going to be using Amolga and Stunfisk. I, I don't know why I picked those two, but I just said to myself, I'm going to use them for all three leaders, no matter what they do have, and I'm just going to have to figure it out. If I can't do it, well, then I'm just not going to be able to complete this video here, can I? So, we're going to be going in here, and we can spam pretty hard with this little squirrel here getting those shields down and at this point we're just building up the energy because after you use a charge move after they use a charge move for the rocket grunts or for the rocket leaders even giovanni they do pause for about a second and a half to two seconds so that'll give you some time to charge energy to not spam your charge move and take advantage of that pause bringing in the charizard here so we're wow we're able to get off another one if you think well Where's Mega Beedrill? What's he going to do? Well, you know, you have to have a little finesse. You just, you know, yes, it is a Mega, but I mean, you still can't go in here and just uh, think you're going to demolish everything. Uh, so anyway, we're going in with the Stun Fist now to just uh, do a little bit of chip. We don't want to put our Beedrill up against it. Now, okay, going up against Caesar here, this without Drill Run is uh, another horrible matchup for me. Everything I'm doing is not going to be very effective. And uh, we're at least we're resisting the... Fury Cutter, that's not really doing too much damage, enabling us to get to another Sludge Bomb, which is going to do decent damage. I mean, I, I say decent, and it did, like, what, an inch? So we go down, that's fine. We have the, the I was going to say Galarian stuff. Is the regular Stunfisk here. We're just going to go for a Mud Bomb, and just a couple quick moves. We're going to be able to take the win. I know you didn't see too much action regarding the Mega Beedrill, but we're going to be getting more into that when we get into these other leaders here. So it's awesome, guys. I hope you are enjoying yourself out there and doing some raids, and... I got a shiny Cresselia on my first raid, okay? So, I, I don't know why. I, I don't know what's going on here. So, I did that on the Heatran as well. I didn't do any. Somebody invited me and I was like, okay, sure. You need some help. I'll help you out. I wasn't too concerned about it. And then I got a shiny on my first Heatran. Uh, Cresselia comes around. I'm, you know, people are asking, you want to do it here and there? I'm like, nah, no thanks. Uh, and I get a shiny. Um, so, 
Wait a minute, I said it was my first one, but I think I actually did one yesterday, so oops, uh, that's a little bit of a fib, sorry, I, I even put that on on Twitter too. My first Cresselia shiny! <laughs> Yeah, whoopsie, I uh, just remembered somebody needed help yesterday. But nonetheless, second one, pretty good. Anyways, up against Cliff here, he's got the Grimer going. So we're just going to go in with the Stun Fist, get those shields off, and take not very effective damage with the Stun Fist gear. So this team comp kind of did help me out pretty well until I got to Sierra. That took me a total of probably like 10 tries with this team until I had something down to a T. Uh, my Amolga was going to be surviving with like 1 HP, and then the stun fisk was gonna i mean there's these little tricks you're gonna have to see here in a second but as far as cliff this was one and done uh as far as arlo i think that took me like two tries like the first time i just you know with the team i'm using and the line not knowing what he was gonna have uh because it could be several different pokemon with, with the mega b draw i just got demolished char it was locked in with charizard i was like okay all right, I'll start over. So anyways, up against Tyranitar here. I'm going to be able to do super effective damage with this. And it's looking great. And you can, as a matter of fact, take down Cresselia extremely fast with your Mega Beedrill as well. And remember, you don't have to max out it, you know, the Beedrill so you can have it at full power. You just Mega Evolve it and it's level 44. And there you go. You have some extra power for you to help take out these legendary raids. Because I know a lot of people, even though we still have remote raids and many different sites and where you can add people... Still just, you know, don't have people on your friends list who are maybe active or people on your friends list, period. And then you need that little bit of extra damage to help you take out these raids. So going up against Sierra here, I was just crossing my fingers for no double Lapras. So this is obviously the, the last one here. And we're going to be able to do this successfully. So swapping it into our uh, Flying Squirrel. I don't like its name. I really don't, to be honest. I like this Pokemon. I just don't like its name. I don't like pronouncing it. So we'll call it Flying Squirrel. Uh, so we're surviving with 1 HP like we said. We got the shields and it did a little damage I suppose. So what we're going to do at this point is wait the clock. Because what we're going to have to do is actually uh, retreat our Stun Fisk when the clock is up. When the switch clock is up. Uh, and then go in with our Beedrill. But and then use it at the end potentially. But uh, for this time around I just played everything perfectly with the, with the Mega Beedrill. So I actually didn't have to use it. Which is probably going to be the best showcase for the Mega Beedrill going up against the leaders because it actually just takes out all of them here. So take a look. So going and just putting in work here. Going to do as much damage. This is great. So we're going to be able to pause it and now farm it all the way down. That's the key. We have to farm it. Getting a couple of those quick moves in. Putting us into the red. Not great. Luckily she does have a Sharpedo which is going to be extremely glassy. We're not going to even really hit any of the bubbles. Uh, and it's still going to be doing a ton. And then we're going to be able to farm down. Fantastic. And a Hound Doom at the end. All right, so not the best situation, but not the worst. And we're going to go ahead and go with Sludge Bomb. Doing a lot of damage, and we're going to be actually able to get to an X Scissor and taking them out. So there you have the demonstration. Since we are in this kind of battle event, I thought I'd bring you guys some battles for fun because we don't I haven't really done these in a while. And uh, just showcase Mega Beedrill here because it is the first time I am going to be Mega Evolving it. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, and I'll be keeping you up to date on everything Pokemon Go, and that notification is getting super annoying. Take care.